Hello all, this is Queenie Leem, but my real name is Elizabeth. In this video, you're going to see footage from minutes after I finished the last exam of my didactic year of PA school. I'm also going to talk about the breakup that I went through the first week of PA school and how I almost dropped out of PA school and additionally, how you guys and your comments actually helped me stay in PA school. I'm also gonna talk about what classes I took in my third semester and what classes I'm taking in my fourth semester. I'm also gonna talk about what I think could have gone better in my third semester and what I actually think went well in my third semester. Then I'm gonna talk about my intentions for my fourth semester of PA school, as well as my intentions for my YouTube channel and my brand in general. So now we're gonna jump into the footage from the first few minutes after I finished my last exam of my didactic year of PA school. Five or 10 minutes ago, I just finished my last exam for the didactic year of PA school. I gotta say they definitely saved the hardest for last and that was my OBGYN final. So that was difficult. But honestly, this being over, it doesn't even seem like it's possible that it's over like it, it's not I definitely hasn't hit me yet and I think getting as far as I have especially considering the fact that I got straight A's for the didactic year of PA school I'm just <laughs> considering those that that fact like I know that I can do anything now um, I just have to put my time and my energy and my focus into things and with that the world's my oyster as one of my professors says is very little that can knock you off your track once you get through this. So just want to say thank you to my mom, my dad, my grandma, everyone, my friends. Y'all held it down and helped me out so much. I really can't believe, I mean, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The first semester of PA school, I lied on the ground and looked up at the ceiling a lot. Like a lot and I was like not doing very well, but I was doing very well. Like I made it through the first semester with A's. I made it through the second semester with A's and I've done this now and I'm just so thankful. <laughs> now I'm going to get my eyelashes done and maybe I'm going to finish this video up after, you know, I won't look like this. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to decompress now and uh, yeah, you'll see me in just a second, but looking a little bit different. Hey everyone, I'm back. So it's actually, gosh, it's not the same day that I shot the beginning of this video. I shot the beginning of this video on Tuesday. It is now Thursday. Yeah, so my eyelashes done. And then I fell asleep way too early. I think I fell asleep at like 8.30. I was that tired, I fell asleep at 8.30. And then yesterday, yeah, then I came home again and fell asleep at 8.30 and didn't wake up till 8.30, so I slept another night for like 12 hours. I feel awake for the first time in like six months. It's amazing. But anyways, so to the main point of this video. So now I'm gonna go over a couple things. First, I'm gonna let you know what classes I was taking this semester. I was taking, I just summed them all up. I was taking 14 classes this semester, guys. 14. And then I'm also going to go over what I think went well and what I think could have gone better in terms of my study style and the things that I accomplished. So first, I'm going to give you the background of what classes I was taking. So I was taking emergency medicine, geriatrics, uh, OBGYN, neurology, nephrology, radiology, hemology, oncology, that was one class, lab methods, pediatrics, surgery, cross-cultural competencies in counseling, technical skills. Um, we also did ACLS and BLS, so I'm certified in both of those now. And then we had clinical correlations where we would go step by step on case presentations because it's really good practice for what we'll be expected to do when we are actually in the hospital, just going down someone's H&P and their chief complaint and their physical and figuring out what's going on. Um, and then finally, we had medical Spanish which at the end we had to do an OSCE, which is interview a patient in person. It was on Zoom, like in Spanish. So those were the 14 classes I was taking. So because I would like to end on a good note, I'm going to start with what could have gone better this semester. The number one thing that I wish I had done differently and I think I could have done 
better is I wish that for every single disease that we were presented, just basically from the beginning of my whole school year, if when they give me a disease, I would just go straight to Excel and start filling out the etiology, the pathophysiology, the signs and symptoms, the diagnostic steps, complications, management, or like treatment steps, and then like anything additional that I need to know. Like if I had just had that, I think I would have a much more organized version of the notes that I now currently have. And I think it would be easier to find the information when I need to find it. So if you're going into PA school and you're just trying to like get some tips on how to like hit the ground running, I would say just get a spreadsheet, put all of the different diseases in one column, like whatever was talked about that week, and then just fill out and then for all of that information, each individual disease, I would color code it. Like it will be green for the rest of its life. Like whenever I look at my notes, that will always be green. Like that is what I had wished I had done with all of my notes. When it comes to pharmacology, I did do that for about three quarters of my notes. So that if I ever have any questions on anything, I can just look back at it and I have the information right there. But I don't have that for all of my clinical classes and I think that was a little bit of a miss on my part. Okay, another thing that I should have done, number two, I should have started using Sketchy Farm or any sketchy videos earlier. So that's just something that's just like for the overall year that doesn't really have to do with the summer semester specifically. Okay, this has to do with, I think one of the goals that I talked about in my other videos, which was that I had had a goal for the summer to get really in shape and stay in shape and make sure that I was always exercising so that you know it's just like good for you and it makes it easier for you to learn and you're better at like learning things and your attention is better but around the time that final exam started which is around like six weeks towards the end of the semester we were having exams two a week three a week and i just when you only have three days to study for the next huge exam that could like really like decide your whole future i just i was like you know what if I don't run this week, that's okay. If I don't run the next five weeks, that's okay. Went for a run today. It was hard. I stopped like three times. My lungs were not having a good time. Um, I wish that I hadn't stopped exercising and that I had prioritized that, but it is what it is. I think in general, those are the, the main things that I wish I could have done better, those, those three things. Okay, so let's go on to what I think went well this semester. Okay, so... I'm just gonna say this quickly. I'm like, I got straight A's this semester. So, so far I have straight A's in PA school and I made it all the way through didactic with straight A's. If you are interested in, in knowing how I was able to get and maintain my straight A's, let me know in the comment section below. I can make a video about that if you're interested, but if you're not, I'll just keep going. What I said before, so about three quarters of my farm notes are in Excel. So if I ever do want to change them or go back to them, I'm very proud of the fact that a majority of them are there. I also want to say what went well, at least I was working out for like two thirds of the summer. Two thirds of the summer, I was in shape and today I got a gym membership and now I am able to go lift weights. So I'm very excited to use those. And just to like finish it up slash wrap up what I think went well, now that I have completed this all on my own, as some of you guys may have known or may have recognized based on one of the videos I think I made my nine month video about, um, I split up with my the person I was with. Like we are no longer together. So the first, the first three days I did not sleep at all. Not a single moment was I able to close my eyes. Um, and I really, I really wanted to sleep and I was really worried because it's like, it's the first semester of PA school and I cannot, I have not slept in three days and it wasn't because I wasn't trying to, it was because I was just, I was distraught, you know, like going through that kind of a breakup, like the first week of PA school is very, it's not normal. And then to also do it while in quarantine is like a whole nother layer to it. I was really contemplating dropping out of PA school and just trying again, like right now, this summer but I'm super, super happy that I didn't do that. 
and the reason I didn't do that was because I didn't really want to, but also because I had such great mentors that I went to and I was like, this is my situation, what do I do? So that was really hard, but I had a lot of people that really helped me. And now I am, here I am today, and I'm just like, wow. I realized that if I could do that in that situation at that point for a straight year, I could do anything. I shared that I made it through PA school with you guys the day that I, I like did my last test. You guys were all so kind and like such a great group of women. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the kind words. They really, they just mean so much. Like they mean so much. Even when I was like having a really hard time in my nine month update, you guys were all so kind. And I really, really, really appreciate that. Like I would read the comments. My mom would read the comments. She'd be like, oh my God, you someone said I was like I know mom they're just such nice people like you guys are amazing so yeah so today is actually the first day of my next semester of PA school I know that I started this video on the first day of my break um, from my third semester of PA school but now I'm going to the fourth semester I really just took two weeks off instead I decided to redo my apartment so I'll just show you like really quickly what my kitchen looks like so I put up this like cool contact paper in my kitchen so that was like one of the little projects that I did um, and I also wanted to put in this video my intentions going into my fourth semester which is the research semester of my PA school journey and I also wanted to let you guys know just how many classes I'm taking and what my plan is for the semester so first I'm gonna start off with my intentions my intentions are that this semester will mostly be about me starting a business with my cleaning lean brand really just to help other people find this style um, and then hopefully like help me create a way to start paying off my school loans, which are piling up at an exponential rate. And it's really been like kind of weighing on my mind. I try not to worry about it, but I decided that this semester I'm gonna do something about it. I have so much more free time than I did last semester or for the past year. And I feel like I owe it to myself. And I also owe it to you guys and to the people that I want to connect with to really start providing material and information and products that I truly, truly believe in and that I've created specifically for people to have a better relationship with their hair and therefore themselves. And I think for a lot of people, how you feel about yourself, which is really at the core of all of this, starts with your hair, especially if you're a black woman. Like this that grows out of your head, it is so intrinsically you but it's also a symbol of your beauty and how you feel about it and how you deal with it. It's just such like an intricate experience. And I know personally for me, when I decided to like lock my own hair, I just feel like I've changed so much in the past like year and a half since I decided to do this to my hair. So if the more people I can bring to this hairstyle, the more people that I can just like help go through this transformation, the better. So yeah. So that's really all I wanted to say about like PA school and how it went and my hair and just like everything that's been going on and going into this next semester. I just want to make sure I mark it because one day I'm going to look back, I'll be a PA and I'll be like, oh, I don't know how I felt. I don't know, like my fourth semester of PA school. I don't know, but here we are. Yeah, that is my intention from going to this next semester. And then regarding what classes I'm taking. So I'm taking only three classes and for the first two months, it's only two classes and then for the following two months it's two classes so one of the periods switches out into another class so on Tuesday I'm taking epidemiology and then on Thursdays I'm taking health law and economics and then for the second the second half of that I'm still taking health law and economics but then I will start research methods which is really just what we learned in epidemiology but doing some research for a capstone project which ends in like a group project so yeah if you have any questions, as always, make sure to put those in the comment section below. If you haven't already got a chance to like, please do that now and subscribe so that you can see all my videos as soon as they're uploaded. I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff this, uh, this fall, so you're going to want to have subscribed. Thank you guys so much for watching. You are the reason that I've been doing this. You guys are fundamentally the reason why I decided to share like anything. Yeah, so I look forward to talking to you guys later. This is Queenie Lane. Bye.